Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel, Renal Creatives, and we are going to show you how this picture was edited. And by the way, this picture was shot by Reflex Image with a Canon 60D camera and a beautiful model. So, uh, the first thing we are going to be doing is uh, we are going to be creating our frequency separation layer with an action so that we can run the frequency separation technique. And I want to prove that we all know what frequency separation is. So, you can set your your lower frequency separation the below. You can set it to like 8 or 7 there about. I used 8 by the way. And yes, and you have your that layer too. And you have your mixer brush. So now with the mixer brush, basically it's the mixer using the mixer brush is just like doing dodge and bone. You 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 brush your low frequency, you brush it on your lower frequency, and for your highlights, you brush separately, and for your shadows, you brush separately. So now I'm using an invert layer whereby the dark parts of your pictures right now, the what you're seeing, are the highlighted parts and the blue parts are the dark parts of your image or more like your mid tones and the very very white parts are the dark parts of your image up to the standard the blue are your mid tones the black are your highlights and the white are your shadows so using the frequency separation technique you brush on your eye your highlights and you brush on your shadows differently and you also brush your mid tones and yeah Make sure your brush is you can use my exact settings i used wet 25 low to 30 mix 30 flow 30 so you can use same settings and by the way if you need these pictures i'll be dropping a link to where you can get the picture on the telegraph channel owned by my friend reflex image you can also try and edit the picture Also, I'll be using the lasso tool, the selection tool, and please make sure you set your feather to around 5 or more, from 5 to like 8, depending on what you want to do. And still working on the low frequency layer, you select your highlights differently, and you go to your filter, go to your occlusion blur, and just raise it up to about um, 15. It makes the picture a little bit, it makes the colors blend more. That's basically what the lower frequency is. If you don't know, your lower frequency is more about your colors, and your high frequency is more about your, your, your textures. So it blends the, the skin together.
Asuna Abidin. Uh, um, I I Abidin does jump on but in a different way. Usually, which is not bad. After your frequency suppression, then on your layer you do your do jump on. But now I want to have my my dodge in between my texture and my colors so meaning i'm directly putting my dodge directly after the colors so i'll be using a very fast technique you pick your lasso to make sure you're on add and then you select the highlighted part of the image that's what you see that i'm doing now like i told you before when you use light in right, the dark part are your highlights and the white part are your and the shadows and the blue parts are emitting. So now I want to focus on our highlights with the dark part. So you select it and when you are done selecting um, sorry I'll soon be done layers so also I think there's a little bit of splashes so you can take your brush and make sure it um it's black as well no white appears and black disappears so you just those splashes you can brush them out and then let's have it before and after yeah you can see that still a little bit different but like a proper way of doing it so what i just basically did is i opened my cuff layers and then changed it to spring and then inverted the layer max and then you pick your brush and your flow should be around to the brush on your highlights the very bright parts as we all know once again the dark parts here are your what your highlights and the white part of the shadows that's when we use the invert so you brush on your highlights your flow please you can set it to one depending on what works but it shouldn't be more than three three sometimes is too high so i'll be using two black and white layer and drag your layer down your yellows down it kind of um, makes the picture little, uh, it makes it very very contrasted so that you can see your shadows very well so I'm going to create a coffee layer and change it to multiply yeah, multiply here yeah. and then in fact compare it to invert 
on your layer max. And then you brush on your shadows. Just the way you're brushing on your eye like the other time. Now you brush on your shadows. And now let's go to color grading. So usually I like doing this. My black and white layer that I selected, you just reduce the opacity to like 10 or lower. And then I use my selective colors. And on your blacks, you bring it up a little bit. And then color balance. 